Hey, today we're learning how to shrink things. This is recording, right? I recently did a video over in After Effects about how to make like a little wiggly text. And today we're doing a Photoshop tutorial. This one is super simple. You know, Coke is my favorite soda. We're shrinking some Coke today. This is that final image that we are working towards and we are gonna start off taking three images. So you want your camera just about the same height as where you're gonna put your hand. You might want it tilted just a little bit, but you don't really need it tilted that much since you are tilting your hand. So we're gonna go ahead and take a picture of our hand. Without moving your hand, you're gonna wanna go and take your subject and place it in your hand. You're gonna go ahead and take that picture. We have a picture of our hand. We have a picture of our subject on top of our hand. What we're trying to do in this next picture is fully get the subject. We want to get it in the same perspective. So what I did is I moved my hand down and back a little bit. That's how I got my shot. You know, your shot may vary. And that's all that we need to make this composite. Now we're going to go and jump into Photoshop. How you're going to want to arrange these is you're going to want to put your hand picture on the very bottom layer and then the picture of your subject in the middle layer and then the large picture of your subject on top of that. Go ahead and hide that top picture and we're just going to work in this middle picture. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to zoom in a little bit and we're going to use our pen tool. So we're going to trace our subject with the pen tool. You can go ahead and click and drag and that's going to make these curved edges. Luckily just a can of coke doesn't have too many curved edges. So after you have your path you're going to go ahead and right click and create make selection. After you now have a selection go down to the bottom and create a mask. This is going to temporarily delete everything except for your subject. AWIM people always work in masks. Now what you should see is your subject on top of your hand layer. You're going to want to go ahead and position this wherever you see fit. You can use control T to go ahead and change the scale and position of that. Cool. So now it's wherever you like. Once you have it looking good, you're going to want to go ahead and re-enable that very top layer of the subject just in our hand. This is gonna give us a reference for our shadow. So now you can see how your shadow is falling. You can go ahead and hide that once again. Create a new layer in between your subject and your hand. You're gonna go over to your brush tool, make sure that black is selected, change the brush size to a pretty decent size. I have my softness or hardness over to about 75. I wanna make a really big brush size and I'm just gonna make one stroke over in the direction of our shadow click on that mask button again at the bottom you're gonna make sure that your brush is set to black and you're gonna start erasing around your hand so that this black line ends at your hand now what you're gonna do is go up to the top under blur go to Gaussian blur and you're gonna put this at an amount that makes sense reference your shadow reference photo again to see whatever fits mine is about like 10 15 ish now that we have that, we're going to lower our opacity again to something that makes sense. Having this shadow reference photo is really crucial. So now we have a shadow on our hand and on our subject, but it doesn't quite fit in. In order to fix this, we're going to go ahead and make another layer. We're going to go back to our brush tool, make sure that the brush is relatively small and you're going to make an outline of the bottom edge of your subject. We're going to go back up to the top under blur, make a Gaussian blur, and this time we're not going to blur it as much. Much. We're gonna blur it slightly less than we did the first time. We're gonna go over to our opacity and we're gonna decrease that just a little bit. What we're looking for here is a large shadow that fits in well with our environment and a small shadow that's a little bit darker than the first shadow, but not like super, super dark. Well, that's it. You should be able to shrink things now and put something in the palm of your hand that wouldn't normally fit in the palm of your hand. This very may well be the last video that you can enter the giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a Rode Video Micro. In order to enter the giveaway, be sure to subscribe to the channel, go down to the description, go over to the Facebook page and like that Facebook page. I need some sort of median to be able to message you in and we're gonna do that through Facebook. Hopefully you learned something even if you didn't learn something maybe you were entertained maybe you just stuck around just because you like my face who knows but that's all that i have for you guys this was supposed to be a short video don't have faith that it's really that short yeah okay be sure to like comment and subscribe all those youtuber stuff share the video if you want to help me gain some subscribers and that's all i got cool
Yeah, all right. Yep.